Hey guys, it's WT here from the Coin Alley. In this episode of the Coin Alley, I'll be discussing Electronium. Electronium recently signed an agreement with telecommunications and payment giant Zias. Also, we'll be covering Kin Token, provide you an update on Kin, and then we'll be increasing our loan over at Devor. All this coming right up. Let's do it. And welcome back to the Coin Alley. I am your host, WT. So I got into Electronium uh, last year during their ICO. And, you know, we've all been watching the price of uh, Electronium for the last uh, several months. Uh, they had a, a little bit of a snafu during their planned launch on November 1st. They uh, went dark for about 30 days while they had some uh, security scare where they were trying to make sure that their network and um, their platform was secure. They did relaunch um, about a month ago, and since then, the price of uh, Electronium has been pretty steady, and within the last few days, it has actually skyrocketed. And the reason for that is that they recently completed an agreement with telecommunications and payment giant Zias. So in a press release, from uh, a few days ago. It says here that the mobile-friendly cryptocurrency has formed a groundbreaking relationship with the mobile and payments technology provider, which has an active subscriber base of over 65 million people. Now, guys, that is amazing. So here we have 65 million people who are now being exposed to Electronium. And these people will also be referring Electronium to their friends and family. So, Zias is the telecom's operating brand of Megasoft, um, a market leader in the mobile and payment space. Zias has over 230 deployments for customers spanning six continents with an average of more than one billion, with a B, U.S. dollars worth of payment transactions processed every month. Its corporate headquarters is in Massachusetts, and um, its global delivery center is in India. So Zias has a 25-year history of innovation, having filed more than 120 patent applications in total. So this is very exciting news for holders of Electronium, um, because this is uh, a guarantee that the cost or the price of uh, the token will definitely increase, especially with uh, these new people who are going to be using Electronium to to spend or, or, or send to their friends or relatives or what have you. Now, Electronium did plan to partner themselves with a lot of big companies, and this is definitely them delivering on that promise. Um, so this agreement with Zias is going to be a big win for all of you uh, Electronium holders out there. So let's take a look back at the chart. Um, November 1st or November 2nd was when uh, Electronium um, hit uh, coin market cap. And right now, Electronium is only on Cryptopia. So there is a lot of room for growth. Um, eventually, they'll be on Bittrex, maybe coin market cap. And, you know, as the coin is exposed to more exchanges, then the price of the coin should go up. Um, so I'm really excited for the future of Electronium. So are you guys currently holding Electronium? Are you going to hold? Are you going to sell? Or perhaps are you going to buy? Now, I'm not a financial advisor, so any information that I disseminate through this video is only my own personal bias. So, you know, do not take my word for it and go out and, you know, invest in any of these coins or platforms that I mentioned. This is just basically what I'm doing. As always, do your own due diligence, do your own research, and only invest what you're comfortable losing. So uh, be sure that you're doing it wisely and you're being smart when it comes to investing. So is it the right time to purchase Electronium? That's only a decision that you can make. But personally, I try not to buy coins at their highest point. Uh, you're bound to you know, make a loss if the coin is to make a, 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 sh a sharp correction. So 
you know, I would say keep a, keep an eye on Electronium. Um, I think there's definitely more room for growth. Um, the coin will uh, will only get higher. The price will definitely increase. Uh, but you will definitely have to make that decision on when is the best time to buy. And for those of us who got in during the ICO, at this point, we are definitely up 16 times our money. You know, and where else can you do this? It's hard to do this in a lot of other markets. So, you know, it definitely wouldn't surprise me that more and more people will definitely be getting in on Electronium. Now, currently, Electronium has a registration ongoing on Facebook, and this registration is being uh, ran through um, January 12th. So if you're looking to possibly be a beta tester on their Electronium mobile mining experience platform, you are encouraged to head over to Facebook, check out the Electronium group, and click on the link here. Uh, this link will take you to a Google Drive where you be, a Google form where you'll be able to fill in your information. And as you can see here, I've already responded. But you can definitely check on that link, and I'll leave a, a copy of that link in the description of this video. And uh, it's available through midnight on January 12th. Now, Kin launched their ICO back in uh, last summer. And I got into the ICO initially when I tried to, you know, get involved in the ICO. I had a little bit of a problem, but I was able to reach out to their support, and they were able to get me, um, uh, get me all uh, set up. So I was able to participate. I picked up um, a few tokens. As you can see, they have quite a bit um, of tokens out there, and I picked up about 4.2 million tokens. Now, as you can see right now, the price of the Kin token had been just, you know, pretty much kind of like flatlining. And then within the last few days of, of December, the price has definitely gone up. Now, what has contributed to the price increasing like this? Well, Kin announced that they just trial their first Kin earn and spend experience. And they did this live on Kick. Now... If you don't recall, uh, Kin is brought to us by the people or the company that uh, brought us the Kick messaging app. So they have implemented Kick or Kin inside of the Kick messaging app. So it says here today we launched the first Kin spend experience inside of Kick and what they're calling IPL V2. And a few things to note. So this experience is limited to 10,000 Kik power users. Because of the scalability challenge with Ethereum, uh, CryptoKitties did uh, cause a little bit of a problem with their launch. So we are launching to roll out products slowly to our user base. Uh, right now, there the product is being pushed to users that are 18 plus, and in the short term, uh, they will first roll out Kin to users uh, who are 18 plus. 18 plus users comprise of two thirds of their user base, and long term, long term, excuse me, they plan to have Kin accessible to all Kick users and other digital services beyond Kick. So, over here on the Medium platform, you can see more information about the IPLv2 product launch. And it gives you some screenshots of what the users are seeing when they are interacting with the Kin wallet inside of Kick. So they started off by introducing Kick users to the Kin wallet. And you have some screenshots here. And I'll be leaving you guys a, a link to this uh, article over on medium.com. So it shows you how uh, the user are being first introduced to uh, Kin. There's some more screenshots here. What can you do with the IPL v2 Kin wallet? So once a user has successfully created their wallet, they are awarded with an initial Kin amount. Why grant users Kin from the start? Well, opening an empty wallet is a sad user experience in any application. 
and we also want users to have a frictionless start to their kin experience, allowing them to participate in the economy right away. So that's a very good marketing scheme from uh, kin um, is by providing uh, the user with some free tokens to get started. And then the next step is what does it look like to spend kin? As you can see here, they have packs and all these other things they can purchase. So this has definitely contributed to the increase in the value of kin. So kin has definitely spiked. Last night I looked at my Ethereum wallet and I looked at the value and I was like, wow, what happened? And then I did my research and came upon that because, you know, I had purchased the tokens and, you know, I hadn't really looked at them again. And I hadn't been following the Ken Kick updates until this afternoon when I, you know, decided to go ahead and take a look at it. And I was quite amazed. So I'm really excited about the future for Ken and uh, what it will do to the, uh, the whole Kick ecosystem. And here are additional screenshots from what the user will see from their end. So are you guys out there holding your kin tokens or are you looking to sell? Um, I'm in for the long terms on uh, on kin. So, you know, definitely I'll be I'll be holding my my kin tokens for the foreseeable future. And um, I think. Uh, you know, great things is definitely going to come out of this whole platform as more and more people, you know, start becoming uh, more engaged with the ecosystem and understanding cryptocurrency because, you know, they have a, a large user base and a majority of them are not familiar with cryptocurrency. So this is definitely going to be their first kind of gateway experience um, with this introduction to cryptocurrency. So I think this is definitely a great thing from kick so devor is a lending program that started about a month ago um, they're somewhat similar to bitconnect uh, they have their own blockchain um, their own explorer and they got listed on coin market cap on around the 18th or 18th or 9th yeah the 18th of december uh, the ICO was about two months ago, and lending program started about a month ago. So right now they're on Coin Exchange, and they do have an, an internal exchange as well. And they're planning on being listed on Yobit and Mercatox in the future. So as you can see right here, they started out at twenty-four dollars and seventy-three cents on Coin Market Cap, and they have gradually, you know made their way up they've definitely been increasing um on the 29th of december they're at 56 dollars and 17 cents continue their climb and a lot of folks are in are in devour um it was one of those platforms that i got into um i tried to purchase a few tokens but it was very busy so you know i wasn't able to get as many tokens as i had initially had planned so I grabbed some tokens and the price has definitely gone up um, within the last uh, week or so. Um, I believe it got up to about $102, $101. Um, It's definitely made its climb. Uh, Right now it's at $85.40. A few days ago I did a loan on Devor. Actually I did a loan last year of $5,001 and I showed you guys that in a previous video. Uh, and a couple days ago, I did up my loan to an additional ten thousand, and um, I added an additional five. I did the lock boost and also the auto reinvest feature, and I'll show you guys um, that process. So let's go ahead and uh, complete our loan on Devor. We're going to up our active investment to ten thousand two dollars. So right now, Devor is at $100.59. So we're going to take advantage of the appreciation in our uh, coin price and lock it alone. All right, so 5000 
and 1. It's going to be 49.7166 Davor. We're going to earn, in addition to our daily interest, we're going to earn an additional 0.20%. Our capital release is after 179 days. We're actually going to do a lock boost of an extra 60 days. And then we're going to take advantage of the auto reinvest feature. So we'll click auto reinvest. And it says here by activating this function, money credited by this lending package will be reinvested automatically once it reaches $10. We'll hit OK and we'll submit. And there we go. We've got $10,002 in active loans on DeVore. So the process was very simple in creating that additional loan and then locking in that auto reinvest option. Now, I don't make any recommendations to you guys in regards to DeVore or any lending platform. Um, as I mentioned earlier in the video, um, this is just an example of what I'm doing. Um, if you decide to get into DeVore, um, it is one of those platforms where, you know, you definitely got to, these lending platforms are very risky. So when you approach a lending platform, you definitely got to make that decision on, you know, what are your long-term goal? Uh, you know, you only want to invest money that is, um, I wouldn't say you want to throw your rent money or your car note money or your food money at lending platforms. Um, I would say use common sense and only invest um, money that you have set aside, like play money. You know, this is what I'm going to use uh, to, to, uh, to gamble because basically that's what it is. It is a gamble. You know, too many times I see on uh, YouTube a lot of comments and other um, channels where people are upset that they have lost their money and they assign blame to the YouTuber as being the person who is responsible for them losing out their money. So that's my takeaway from lending platforms, not only Davor, but any any lending platform or any investment for that matter. Um, make a wise decision when it comes to investing. And um, at the end of the day, it's only um, going to be, you're the only one that's going to be responsible for that decision that you've made. So that's my takeaway from lending and investing. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video that I brought uh, to you guys today. Um, please leave your comments below in regards to Electronium or Kin or even Devor. If you're investing, if you're planning to buy, if you're holding or what other platforms you're looking at. It is 2018, so I think uh, we're in for a very uh, interesting year, um, both from possible legislation if you're in the United States or Canada or some other countries who might introduce legislation or ways to regulate cryptocurrency. At this point, it's anyone's guess as to what's going to happen this year with cryptocurrency. But it, there's been a lot of rumors out there that there's going to be a lot of control from government um, because they wanted to, you know, they want to get involved in crypto. They want to tax our cryptocurrency. They want to you know, everyone's all all excited about um, the cryptocurrency, but there are also people who are looking to not only get into into cryptocurrency, but they're also looking to uh, take your your cryptocurrency or your coins from you. So you definitely want to secure your coins. Um, there'll be a lot of forks out there, and um, there's going to be a lot of scams. So be very careful. Uh, when, he, when it comes to um, providing your your private keys to uh, any of these platforms out there um, that are going to assist you in getting your fork coins. So thank you guys for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, uh, definitely appreciate you subscribing. I do have a lot of videos out there uh, that cover a, a wide variety of topics. So definitely check out the video library. If there's something that uh, uh, you would like to see me cover, um, I always take recommendations. You can email me or you can comment 
in the uh, comments section and also every Sunday we do have subscribers choice so during the week I will take a look at uh, any request or or recommendations that I receive and I'll do a video on uh, a lot of these topics so definitely I I try to give you guys what you would like to see and um, uh, without you guys uh, I wouldn't be here so definitely thank you very much for uh, subscribing and for following my content so if you're new uh, please consider please consider subscribing and if you do subscribe be sure to hit the notification bell that way whenever I do post a new video you'll be one of the first people to be notified alright guys until our next video take care of yourself and of course each other